Today I have seven different hidden Netflix features I thought you should know about. We're gonna start right away with number one. Did you know you could change the date of when you are charged for your Netflix subscription? I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm on my computer right now, I had to go to netflix.com. If I go up to the top right, a menu appears and there's an option for account. I'm gonna click on that. Once I'm brought here, you'll see some options over here on the right. Eventually you'll see this option called change billing day. If you click that, it'll let you decide the day of each month that you wanna be billed. While you're still on this account settings page, the next feature I wanna show you is the ability to get new Netflix features before everyone else. Scroll down to the bottom and there's this option here for test participation. If you click on that, participate in tests to help improve the Netflix experience and see potential changes before they are available to all members. So if you're interested in that, feel free to turn that on. Next up is a cool trick that you could do using a VPN with Netflix. So with a VPN, you could change the country you are perceived as being in. So by default, I'm in the US and you'll see that my Netflix is the US version of Netflix. If I go into my VPN, simply change the country to whatever I want, let's say Canada, I go back to Netflix and it'll be the Canadian version of Netflix with different movies and different TV shows that you otherwise wouldn't have access to. So if you're interested in trying that, you could use the same VPN I use called IP Vanish. I'll leave their link in the description if you want to make an account. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some secret codes that Netflix has. And what these codes do is give you very specific categories. Let me just show you an example. So if I go over to the search bar, I'm gonna type in 8711. Now that is the special code for horror movies. Now there's a ton of these codes. I'll leave a website linked below that has all of them listed out for you, but this will be a cool trick to help you find something new to watch. So if you're somebody that watches Netflix with the captions on all the time, this next feature is for you. So if I go back into the top right corner and I go into the account settings again, once I'm there, if I go down to where my profile is and click it, and I will scroll down to this section here that says subtitle appearance. And here you could fully customize your subtitles. You could change the font, you could change the color, the size. Pretty cool little feature, not a lot of people know. Back into the account settings again. This one is a new feature that Netflix just added, and it's the ability to transfer your profile to a different account. So you'll see this option here that says turn on profile transfers. If I click that, you can select allow right here. And I'm not sure if everybody will get this message here, but it's basically saying that this will be enabled in two days or I have to go to my email and confirm it. But once you do that, you'll be able to take your profile off of that account, move it to a different one, and you'll be good to go. If you're ever annoyed of the fact that Netflix automatically starts playing stuff as soon as you open the app, you can actually turn that off. So we're going back into the account settings once again, and you're gonna want to go to your profile. And if you go down, you will see an option for playback settings. Click on change. And what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that the autoplay previews while browsing is unchecked. Once you do that, just click save and it shouldn't autoplay anymore. Now I wanna show you how you could request Netflix to get new shows or movies that you specifically want. From Netflix's website, you keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling until you reach the bottom. Down here, there'll be a section called Help Center. If you go through that, you'll see an option over here for request TV shows or movies. Click that, and right here, you can suggest Netflix to add the shows and movies you want. All right, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.